Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet these easy crochet baby booties such as the ones that you see here. Uh, these are quite adorable little boots. They're made with a super bulky weight yarn. I have used the Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarn which is a wool blend. Uh, they work up very quickly because of that. The pattern, written pattern, can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and I will provide the direct link for you in the notes of this video. As far as your materials are concerned, you're going to need an 8mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a yarn needle for weaving in your ends, and a small amount of a super bulky weight yarn. As mentioned, I'm using the Woolies Thick and Quick by Lion Brand and I'm using two different colors a gray marble and a frosty spruce which is kind of a blue with hint of green in it and for the boots I have chosen my frosty spruce as the uh, edging and the bottom sole of my boots so you don't need as much of that it's your color A and your or your color A and you're going to need about 10 yards of that color A the color that you choose for your color B, you're going to need a little bit more. You'll need about 38 yards. And these measurements are for the largest pair of boots, which is for six to 12 month old. So of course, if you're working the smaller size, such as the one we will work today, you will need a little bit less, but it doesn't hurt to have a little extra on hand. Once you have all of your materials together, join me uh, back here and we will get started. So this pattern does include three different sizes. It includes a zero to three month old size, which is a 3.5 inch sole, a three to six month size, which is a four inch sole, and a six to 12 inch size, which is a 4.5 inch sole. Today in this video, we will only be working the zero to three month size. So if you would like the stitch counts for the larger sizes, please head on over to the written pattern, which again can be found for free on my blog, directly link in the notes for this video. So to begin, we're going to start by working the sole, which is the bottom part of your baby boot. And you're going to start by taking your color A, making your slip knot, and then chaining five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Round one, working in the second chain from your hook, count in one, two, you're going to place two single crochet stitches. Next single crochet in each of the next two stitches. In the next stitch, you're going to work four single crochet stitches. When you work your four single crochet stitches, it's going to bring you all the way around so that you're going to work on the opposite side of your foundation chain. So four single crochet stitches in that same stitch. Work one single crochet in each of the next two. And then finally, two single crochet stitches in that last chain. You will then have come all the way around to your first stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row, round one. For round two, you're going to chain one and you're going to start by working two half double crochet stitches in each of the first two stitches. So for a total, you have four half double crochet stitches. Next, work one half double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. And then work two half double crochets in each of the next four. Two half double crochet stitches in each of the next four. 
So you're going to go all the way around the toe here of your foot. Next work one half double crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches. And then two half double crochet stitches in each of the next and final two stitches. You should then be all the way around back to the heel of your boot where you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. Once you've made it all the way back around, you're going to fasten off your work and you're going to briefly set it aside. You can repeat that process for your second boot. We are now going to start working the body and the toe of the boot. So what you're going to do is take your sole and you will have the right side of your fabric and then you will have the wrong side of your fabric. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it so that the wrong side of your fabric is facing up at you, so the back side. You're then going to take your color B. You're going to find the back of your sole and that's where you would have joined for that final stitch. Sometimes I like to leave that little tail always so that I know where the sole of my boot is. This is the back and then this is where your toe is going to be. So for, for this next round we are going to be working in the third loop. To find the third loop, if you're looking at the back side of that sole, you will see that underneath this top horizontal bar, and it's hard to see in, uh, in this fuzzy yarn, you have this top horizontal bar, and underneath of it, right there, you have another horizontal bar. This is your third loop. Okay, so this is where you're going to be working. You're going to be working under it only. You're going to want to find your first stitch, find that first horizontal bar, insert your hook in there, and join your yarn with a slip stitch. And actually, I'm going to want to turn my work uh, so that I am working with the right side of my fabric facing out. So I'm going to work from right to left around my boot. So insert your hook under that third loop, only that one loop, and join your yarn with a slip stitch. You are now going to work in the third loop all the way around, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So if you're working the small size, you're going to have a total of 20 stitches. So just start by working your single crochet stitches. You want the right side facing out, always finding that third loop and working under it only. And I'll show you what that does uh, to the outside. So you're finding your third loop, single crocheting in each stitch all the way around. Once you find it the first few times and work, work your stitch in there, it's going to be easier for the rest of the way around. If you take a look back, what that does is it kind of pushes the top of the stitch forward and it's going to give you kind of a neat boot-like bottom to your slipper. So continue single crochet in the third loop all the way around. You'll have a total of 20 stitches and then you're going to join with a slip stitch in that first stitch. When you reach your first one, join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. You are now going to continue working under both loops as you work the rest of the body of this boot. So for round two, you're going to chain one. Do not turn your work. You're always working in the same direction. And you're going to single crochet in each of the next, or each of the first six 
stitches. So in that same one that you joined in, you're going to work your first single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Next, you're going to half double crochet two together uh, four times. To half double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch and drop a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch and drop a loop. You'll have a total of five loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those loops. So you're going to do that a total of four times. There was one, now two, three and four. It's going to bring you around the toe of your boot. You are then going to single crochet in each of the last six stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six and it will bring you around to your first stitch where you will join with a slip stitch. Now you can see you have uh, brought in the top of the boot a little bit so you're providing a little bit of shaping there to the front. For round three you're going to chain one, do not turn your work. You're going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So in your first stitch, single crochet, one, next stitch, two, three, four, and five. You're now going to double crochet six stitches together. To work your double crochet six together, you're going to yarn over Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll have two loops on, left on your hook. You're then going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. So that's your second leg. You want a total of six legs. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over, draw through, Yarn over, pull through two loops. There's number three, number four, number five, and number six. So once you have a total of seven loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull your yarn through all seven of those loops. And that's what it's going to give you on the top of your boot. You're then going to single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So kind of bring your hook over. You're going to want to pull it a little bit tight. There's one and then two, three, four, and five. You'll be back at your first stitch and you're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of that stitch. And that is the body of your boot. So go ahead and repeat that for the second sole. At this point, you can fasten off and you can weave in your ends if you would like or leave them until your boot is completely finished. We are now going to begin working on the cuff of the baby boot. The cuff of the boot is worked in rows and it's slightly different, uh, it's a slightly different start depending on whether or not you're working on the left foot or the right foot. So I'm going to show you how to work the left foot, but as I go I'm going to point out the differences for the right foot so that you're able to go back and uh, make the right foot as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to take uh, your um, color B 
And for working on the left foot, you're going to join the yarn with a slip stitch in the front loop only of the double crochet six together. So this is my double crochet six together. I'm going to find the front loop, which is this loop that's closest to me, and I'm going to join my yarn with a slip stitch under that loop only. If you are working the right foot of the boot, instead of starting on that front loop, you will start on the back loop. Okay, so for the left foot, you're going to start by joining your yarn under the front loop only of the double crochet six together. For the right foot, you're going to start by joining in the back loop only of the double crochet six together. Okay, so we're going to proceed doing the left foot. I'm going to join my yarn with a slip stitch. And for those first two stitches, I'm going to work uh, one single crochet in each, both in the front loop only. Again, if you're working for the right foot, these two single crochet stitches will be worked in the back loop only. So there's my first single crochet, then my next stitch, front loop only, I'll work another single crochet stitch. Okay. Next, you're going to continue working around the boot. So in the next nine stitches for the smallest size, you're going to work under both loops and you're simply going to single crochet around. So in the next nine stitches, there is, once I get my yarn untangled here, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, and nine. Now that should bring you back around to where you began in the front loop only. After you have single crocheted nine around, you're then going to proceed working in the back loop only of the two that you started with and you're going to work a single crochet stitch. So one single crochet stitch in each of the next two stitches working in the back loop only. If you are working on the right side, um, on the right boot, these last two loops will actually be in the front loop only. If you have any questions, head on over to that written crochet pattern and it is written out there for you. Okay, so these two rows are crossing over one another. That brings you to the end of row one. You're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, and you're now going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should have a total of 13 single crochet stitches. So simply turn your work, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. This is row two. going to work in both loops all the way around 13 stitches. When you come back to your first stitch you're going to chain one and you're going to turn once again. For the next two rows, so rows three and four, you're simply going to repeat that row two. So chain one, single crochet in each stitch around, turn, chain one, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So that's uh, rows two to four. So I'm just finishing up row four here. Once you come back all the way around and you've finished row four, you're simply going to uh, fasten off your work. And at this point, you can weave in your ends if you'd like. And we are now on the home stretch of our little baby boot. You should really see it coming together now. Now what you're going to do is uh, we're going to work the edging 
of our baby boot and it's worked in rows and in fact just one single row what you're going to do is you're going to take your color a which for me was that dark blue and I'm going to join it with a slip stitch down at the base so sort of in that uh, double crochet six together down there I just want to join my yarn down at the bottom of that cuff just join it with a slip stitch now what you're going to do is you're going to evenly single crochet three stitches. So really that works out one single crochet per row of the cuff of your boot. So uh, just single crochet, your, there's not going to be uh, even uh, tops of stitches to work in. You're working around the rough edge of your boot, but just one single crochet in each row. When you come to your corner stitch, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. Those three single crochet stitches will bring you around to work around the top of your boot. Get my ends there out of the way. Next, you're going to work a series of spike stitches. So you're going to single crochet in the next stitch, inserting your hook one row below. So this is my next stitch. Normally when I worked my single crochet stitch, I'd work it under the top two loops there. But when you're uh, working a spike stitch, you're going to elongate the post of that stitch. So I'm actually going to insert my hook one full row below that stitch. Okay, so this is normally where I'd book work, but instead I'm going to bring it down to the bottom underneath that row of single crochet stitches and I'm going to work a spike stitch. It's just a single crochet. You're going to pull up the loop to the height of a single crochet stitch, yarn over and complete the stitch. So you can see that the spike is quite a bit longer. Next you're going to single crochet in the next stitch inserting your hook two rows below. So here's my next stitch. I'm going to count down one row, two rows. Insert your hook down there, yarn over, drop a loop, bring it up to the height of your single crochet stitch, yarn over and complete the stitch. Next, single crochet in the next stitch, inserting your hook three rows below. So one, two, three, way down here. I'm going to insert my hook, drop your loop, bring it up to the height of your single crochet, yarn over and pull through. The next stitch is done inserting your hook two rows below. Count down one, two, I'm going to start decreasing the length of my spike stitches. So two rows below, pull up my loop to the proper height, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, single crochet, insert your hook one row below. And then your next stitch is a single crochet stitch worked in your top loops. You're now going to repeat that process around. So insert your hook one row below, complete your single crochet stitch, two rows below, three rows below. Now start your decrease, two rows below, one row below, and you should be now back at your corner single crochet stitch. When you reach your corner, when you come all the way around to the other side, you're going to work three single crochet stitches in that corner stitch. and then work three single crochet stitches down the side of your cuff. And fasten off your work. And there you have it. Now you can go back 
and you can weave in your ends. And once you do so, your boot will look a little bit neater than this one here. But that's it right there. Congratulations. And go back and make the uh, second boot. And thank you so much for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to make these very easy, cozy crochet baby booties. Happy crocheting! Until next time, bye!